What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the InQ FY-10. Uh, InQ contacted me uh, some time ago asking me if I wanted to review this and of course I'm like yeah for sure. And sure enough it showed up this past week on my doorstep ready to go. So we're going to take a look at it today. They've asked me to do an in-depth uh, review of this product. So we'll start with uh, unboxing and first look at it here right away on here we've got some data, 112 scale, uh, 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamp hour battery, four wheel drive, functional shocks, servo and waterproof grade, IP68. So wheel twist angle is flexible and changeable. Well, that's cool. It's good to have some adjustments. Uh, forward, reverse, left turn, right turn, all wheels have independent suspension and it's a 2.4 gigahertz remote control system. And there's the model number, FY-10. And right here, it says waterproof level can reach IP68. I'll put it up on the screen what IP68 is, and then you'll know. We got uh, a range of 80 meters are advertising here, and other than that, uh, we can run multiple vehicles at the same time with uh, no interference. All right, guys, we've got it all out on the bench here right now. But before we uh, get into looking at it, I always like to go back to the listing and see uh, if there was anything missed that we didn't catch that was on the box. We got uh, IP68 waterproof. We went over that. 30 plus miles per hour, high speed. So 30 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour is what they're advertising. I am sure we'll get out to uh, do a speed test at some point. Showing this can actually travel on water like a boat is what they're advertising. And we'll take a closer look at why that is in a moment here when we're looking at the RC. We've got 13.8 inches in length and 10.6 inches wide. Let's just quickly go down and look at the right up before we uh, get looking at this. It has a 390 motor and that's where they're advertising that that will be able to produce 50 kilometers per hour. 112 scale. Um, something that wasn't mentioned on the box, uh, all metal sealed ball bearings. That's cool. That's nice to have. And other than that, guys, that's about everything here. Actually range, we've got a hundred meter range or 328 feet is what they're advertising online here. And other than that, uh, looks like, uh, Everything else we should be able to tell just by looking at the car itself. All right, guys, so looking at everything that's on the bench here, we've got it all laid out. We're going to start with spoiler. It came with a spoiler. The screws are actually in it. Just got to pull those out there. And we'll get the spoiler attached that way when we're finished up with this video. We're, uh, other than charging that battery, we're ready to go out and test it out. So that spoiler, very easy, just inserts into a, two little pockets that are in the back here. And then we just reinsert the screws. I actually like how they had the screws already put in there. That way you know you're not missing them. You're not going to lose them if uh, that package uh, does not contain them for some reason. That's good. I like that. So we get that screw lined up and hopefully get it in there here. There we go. Other screw here. They're a little small, a little hard for me to handle, but we'll get it in there. I got a magnetic screwdriver, so there we go. Spoiler is on, and I must say this thing is quite impressive. It seems to be uh, fairly large for a 112 scale. Anyways, moving on, we've got our USB charger there. And they were advertising that 1500 milliamp hour battery, which I assume is in there. We've got little accessories here. We've got our four way wrench. We've got, yeah, let's just pull it out here. Screwdriver. A little four way wrench. This one's actually metal. Very heavy, actually. And four additional body clips. Fantastic. It's nice to get some uh, decent little uh, wrenches every now and then. Way better than the plastic ones, that's for sure. Okay, we'll put that aside. Uh, what else is in here? We This is kind of interesting. We've got a couple uh, drive shafts or dog bones here. Was not expecting to get those. I uh, assume they are uh, 
yeah, they're just spares here. Maybe they, uh, they do seem like they're a bit thinner, no? Yeah, they're not, uh, not the same thickness of what is actually installed there. Maybe what's in here is something upgraded and they gave you a couple spares, but those are, they, they're the right ones, right length, but the actual shaft on them actually seem to look thinner than the front or the back there. Yeah, anyways, nice to get spare parts like that. Keep us going if we break something. And what else do we have here? We've got a spare set of shock towers here. Absolutely fantastic. It's something that I've never actually received with an RC before is spare uh, shock towers. So that's fantastic to get those. I'm very happy with that. It's uh, very nice to get some spare parts when you get these RCs because especially for me, I like to run them hard and if they're going to break on me, I'm going to end up having obviously some downtime until I can order parts. But thankfully, we've got shock towers couple shafts there, drive shafts, some dog bones. That's fantastic. I'm happy with that. Um, anything else? Nothing else for accessories or parts. We do have a nice looking manual here. So we've got the manual here, nice full size manual. And there's where they're advertising the metal bearings where they haven't advertised anywhere else other than online. We've got the 390 brush motor. And just your typical manual, everything in there you need to know from start to finish, from putting the batteries into operating the RC. And we nice, we've got some nice um, exploded views of everything here and parts numbers for everything. So I assume we're gonna get to a parts list here eventually. And there we go. So we have a full parts list also on here. So I'm assuming all these parts are available through the manufacturer. All right, so we're gonna put this stuff aside and let's get to the to the gravy of it. Let's get to the RC itself. But before we do that, we've got a nice looking transmitter here. Oversized bottom, allows it to stand up nicely. It's got a green light, red light. We've got a steering trim on the transmitter and our power switch. And this transmitter is powered by three AA batteries in there. And if we power it on here, let's say we're in binding mode when the two lights are flashing back and forth like that. And actually it's got a decent, uh, Little foam wheel on there, it's quite comfortable. Very nice, I like that. We'll put that aside for right now. And let's just clean off the bench right here a little bit. We gotta get some room for this big boy. And I'm pretty excited about this. Is here we go. We'll just leave, well, we'll take a quick look at the shell. It's nice, nice graphics on there, like the carbon fiber look with the blue accents and the red. Love that. Pretty actually thick, uh, Thick shell there. That's uh, quite nice. I like that. Nice graphics on it too. All right, so to the RC itself, guys, we got these fantastic oversized tires, and I think this being able to uh, operate on water, you're gonna need these uh, fat treads like this to be able to uh, get yourself through the water, kind of like a paddle. And what's neat about this, not only are the tires pneumatic, they're air filled, but the bottom of the chassis here, that is foam. We've got about a half inch thick foam that wraps around the RC here. And that's what's gonna help with the buoyancy to keep us on top of the water. There's no way it's gonna sink with that amount of flotation on it. Fantastic. We do have uh, friction shocks here, but they actually seem uh, pretty high grade. We've got metal in there and uh, yeah, they feel all right actually, not too bad. They are very springy, but I think that'll, uh, that'll do just fine. We do have a nice uh, front bumper here with some light pods in there so we can add some LED lights if we want. And we've got the outlets for the LEDs right there. And like I said, this thing is IP68, uh, which has a certain amount of waterproofing, which I did have up on the screen and we'll throw it up again. And also dust proof, I believe as well. And that's what this mesh would be. Everything's totally enclosed within this cover. We do have the on and off switch right here, which is also covered in rubber which uh, will keep it waterproof as well. So all we do to get into there is we just flip those two little uh, levers there and we can pull this whole section off and you can see the wire mesh in there. And I believe the wire mesh is strictly in there to help uh, keep dust and dirt out of the internals of the RC. Now there is no access to the motor the way it is. The motor is back here, the 390 motor and your servo obviously is gonna be up here Again, no access to it if, unless you take the whole chassis apart. It's all contained. 
But we do have the battery here. Let's pull that battery out. And the battery was advertised as a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And what I was seeing in the pictures, I was expecting a lithium ion pack. But it looks like here we got a LiPo. We've got an 1800 milliamp hour and it is labeled in Q. So it is a manufacturer's battery, 7.4 volt, two cell battery with the Dean's connector on there. And then we'll just take a quick look here. There's our Dean's connector there. So everything there seems to line up nice. And we've got our body clips already attached to the RC right there. So we've got our four that were there. And we also have our four, like we mentioned, that were uh, supplied to us as spares. So I'm just going to plug this in here and see how this all fits in there. I'll put it in like this and everything seems to tuck in there quite nicely. And all we have to do now is put that cover back on. There it is. So in that cover, see how easy that is to get back on? You can just front in first. There we go, we just put it down, flip those over and you're ready to go. We have our switch there, and our switch is actually, I believe, accessible just from where it's sitting here. Now, is it a push button? No, it's not a push button, it's a slider. So there we go, we slide it, and if it's flashing like that, it's in binding mode. All right, guys, we're gonna get the body on here quickly and take a look at it all put together. I'm excited to get out and test this one. I'm really, uh, what really caught my eye on this one was this amphibious capabilities. I'm looking forward to getting this thing in the water and seeing how it does. Front's on, the back clip's now, we gotta get on, gotta line those posts up, there we go. Get that other clip on here. And there you go guys, We've got the body on there, things looking badass, nice wide stance on it. This thing's got some size to it for sure. And like I was mentioning, I don't think you need to uh, pull the body off to access that power switch. No, you can do it by hand there, you can feel it in there, not a big deal. And we'll pull the transmitter here, we'll turn it on, and light is solid, and I believe, actually both lights are solid there, which means I think we're good to go. Let's check it out. Yeah, definitely fully proportional here. Uh, there are a few things I want to look at quickly before we wrap this one up. Um, everything seems to be uh, pretty good quality plastic here. I don't uh, have any concerns there. Um, what was nice to see, and I just noticed this, is the wheel hubs, front and back, are metal. That's awesome. And if I'm looking in there, the hexes are also metal. So fantastic there. I like that. Um, other than that, uh, don't really see any too much. Out. Actually... Looking in through the side here, I can see it. I'm not sure if you can, but the Ackerman plate is also metal, a cast metal. So fantastic there. It's nice to see some upgraded metal parts in there just to hopefully uh, allow it to be a bit more durable. Uh, first impressions, I think this one's going to be a, a good one. Looking forward to getting it out there, testing it out. Hope you guys can come along for that. We're going to be doing some uh, pretty aggressive testing on it, and we'll report back with uh, the results, obviously. Anyways, guys, we're going to leave it at that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate you hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.